Hello, 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 welcome back to the Football Corner, welcome back to another live stream, another show, another video on the channel. Big ups to everybody that is tuned in, nice and early for the stream, big ups to everybody, big ups to Aaron in the chat as well, um, here, nice and early as always, um, big up to you my brother. Um, big up to Guna Matata as well, coming in with the yes, Gunas, yes, big up to you my brother, big up to you, um, my brother. Um, you know what? Yeah, I'm actually, bro. I'm such a bozo, bro. I'm such a bozo. But it is what it is, man. You guys didn't even know what happened, but you know, I mean, it just like that, something happened. Um, but anyway, listen. Make sure you smash on the like button for me. Make sure you are subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. Um, make sure to get that done. I am joined by none other than the main man himself. It's my brother Ashraf, and I don't know why I said. Why did I say it like that? My brother Ashraf in the building. I don't know why I said it hella English like, bro. I said Ashraf. Yeah. It's all anyway. good, man. It's all good. Ashraf. People call um, me Ashraf here, so it's all good, man. Like what? I got my Fine. brother Ash in the building. Um, <laughs> I am also joined by T, and the T stands for Turkish. Yo, yo. Big up to you, my brother. Big up. Big up, big How up. are you doing, lads, man? How are we doing? Alhamdulillah. You know this is you know this is the OG crew. This is yeah yeah it is. This is the OG crew right now. This three, me, you, and Ash. This is how it started. This is my first live stream with. This is my first live stream with other people. Like it was us three, bro. You know what I mean? At first it was me and Ash, and then T was like, I was like, I'll send the link to if anybody wants to come up and talk. Yeah, and T was like, yeah, send me the link. And man just came up, bro. I started speaking. I was like, yeah. I, I just spawned. I just spawned. Yeah, you know all right. Man just spawned in the in, in, in the lobby, bro, waiting. All right. <laughs> um but yeah, listen, lads. I think this is a it is a massive game. Massive game tomorrow. Um it's all or nothing at this point. This game literally is all or nothing. Because we have a situation where we need to win. We need to win. Tomorrow's a must win. The game after that is a must win against Chelsea. The game after that against Scumbags is a must win. And the game after that is a must win. So I think we've got Bournemouth after that. So pretty much every single game from now until the end of the season is a must win. Every single one. Um, how are we feeling? How are we feeling about the uh, the Wolves game in general, man? Uh, I mean, after the last two results for me, I would say, like, quite different. If if this was before the Bar Munich game or before the Aston Villa game, I would have said, yeah, I think we're definitely going to win. Um, when I did my prediction with you, I put an uh, easy win for us against Wolves. Um, I know people will say, yeah, at home they've given trouble to some teams. I just feel like the way we play and our style should be a big problem for them. And even though they have players back, uh, obviously, Cunha is back. I think Kwang as well. Uh, I'm not sure mm. if Pedro Neto is back. I think they said he'll only be back in May. Um, but now that we have lost to Villa and lost to Bayern Munich, I don't know, man. I, it's I'm like I'm starting to lean. Not I'm starting. I am leaning completely more, a lot more towards not not winning this game. I don't know. Like I just feel like if we get, if they end up getting that first goal, I don't know. I just feel quite different about it uh, plus mm. like we, we said this last time right i think the last time um uh, when how many games this season have we like conceded first and gone on to win not many none i think none a lot of games thing. where we conceded first we have we have struggled and i don't know man it's uh, i still think it's none it's, it's none no okay I, I i remember it was like a lot of games i didn't remember if it, i don't know if it was none but uh, i saw people tweeting today like all oh, Arsenal team are training look at them all smiles and happy and i was like bruh Four or five years ago, like Mesut Ozel and Obama Yang and all were joking and laughing, and then they would go and lose the next game 3 0. So I don't care if they're laughing and then and having good times and, and training, but it, it's all about showing up in this game. So I don't know, mm -hmm. man, not very confident. I, I will say that. Yeah, um, listen, I agree with you, man. Uh, T, how you feeling, my brother, for this one? Um, yeah, for me, uh, it's a it's a it's a mixed mixed feelings because I I think we will slap them for some reason like two 0 You know what I'm saying? It's one of them. 
Just like uh, last year, I have a feeling that Odegaard will, uh, is going to show up again. But on the other hand, we don't have good form in the last three games. I think uh, we didn't win a game in like three games now. So um, it's going to be it's going to be one of them. It's going to be one of them if if the, if the question with the question if if the players are going to pick up the pace, pick up their form, or are, are they going to pick their heads up, or are they going to you know what I'm saying dwell on the fact that uh, about what happened, and uh, you know what I'm saying that that that's the big question for me. So it's 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 mixed mixed feelings. I am confident, but at the other hand, I'm just uh, I'm not I'm not worried per se. It's more like uh, how are they going to react? Kind of question, you know what I'm saying? And uh, but yeah, if, uh, apart from that, I'm chilling. Um, I'm happy to see uh, uh, my boy Timber in the training. Uh, so maybe, maybe, maybe we'll see him soon again. I don't know this game, but uh, I hope uh, ar around May we will see him as well. So we, we we would have a solid back line because I think the imbalance we have on the left side, including our left back, is uh, did screw us up in these last um, few games. I think uh, even Tomiyasu looked a little bit shaky because he didn't have much playing time, especially not starting. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know, man. I think we need to bring some balance into this team and go on a run, and the run starts here. For me, it's a must-win. Even a draw is halas. It's over, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah. Like I said, mixed feelings. Yeah, listen. Um, listen, I, I agree with both of you. I think it's, a, it's one where it's a must-win for me. Do you know what I mean? It's a must-win. Um, there's definitely feelings of with the recent form that we've had in the Champions League. I always say this about the Champions League. League form is very weird. League form doesn't doesn't translate into Champions League. But Champions League form translate it translates in, into the league, bro. It is so weird. You could you don't take your league form if you're winning hella games into the Champions League, but if you lose in the Champions League, you take that back into the league. And for me, it's 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 one where two times this season we've lost in the Champions League, Lens, and we played Man City and we won, and then we we lost against uh, Porto away, and I think we had who do we have after that? I think it might have been um, a Liverpool game, wasn't it? It was at the Porto. No, game. no, 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 have no, you no. Got no. It on we your played. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We played um, Newcastle. We played Porto, and then we yeah, lost Porto, to Newcastle, Newcastle, and then four one Newcastle, against Newcastle. Newcastle at home, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we exactly. lost to Porto, not so Newcastle. On, on, on both. Oh, no, no, yeah, yeah. So yeah, on both occasions, on both occasions, we've taken an L in the Champions League, and we've come back, and we've won. Yeah. So that's mm -hmm. a good sign. That's a good sign that hopefully us losing in the Champions League won't translate into the league and how uh, we'll, we'll possibly lose. Now, when it comes to the... I just want to read something out to you guys, which I saved on my phone, um, which I saw today. And um, I needed to save it so I can so I can give it to you. So it's from the uh, Fantasy Premier League thing. Um, so Ait Nori could be available from the bench. Could mm. be available from the bench. Nelson Semedo is out. Mateus Cunha is out. Huang He Chan, only 45 minutes tops. So he could be Are you, Are you sure Cunha is out? Because in my thing I saw he's available. Nah, Cunha, Cunha is out. No, it says it right there. Okay. Cunha is out. Hmm. It's not gonna try. It's not gonna fucking. I don't know what's up with this camera. It never um but that's Gary O'Neill. That's Gary O'Neill who's saying that. Oh, okay, so fair. This fair. is straight from Gary O'Neill's uh, mouth. Pause. Um, Belgrade out, and Craig Dawson had his operation, so he's definitely out. Yeah? Now, mm. the only problem for me, like, you'd think I'd say this and I'd be filled with confidence, but I'm still not. And do you know why? I'll tell you why. Aston Villa, Douglas Louise. Out. Kamara. Konsa. 
Uh, uh, sorry, not Konza. Kamara out. Look at how many players they had out. Bailey on the bench. On the bench. And we still managed to lose that game. Still managed to lose that game, even though they lost their creator, they lost their DM, and we, and we still managed to lose that game. Shocking. It's shocking. So this doesn't fill me fully with confidence. Do you know what I'm saying? It doesn't. Mm. Because even though they're losing their players, even though they're missing their players, for me, I just feel like we need to go in there and we need to, no messing about, no pissing around, we need to go there and do the job. Seriously. We need to go there and do the job, 100%. What's your, what's, your, what's, your, what's your thoughts, guys, on these injuries, man, that they've got? Because it's interesting. They've got a lot of injuries, man, leading up to this game. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but go go ahead. Go ahead, T. No, no, I, I, I just uh, I just nodded, basically. But, yeah, I'll, I'll go. But uh, the funny thing is Neto is available, yeah? No, no, Neto is not available. No, no, Neto's out. Neto's definitely He's out, out as well? Neto's still? Been Neto's been out yeah. for the season, yeah. I swear. Uh, I He's swear. back in May, apparently, mid-May, yeah. Because he was out, le- he, he, he was, he was out right, last out month. Well, no. he, he was out last month, and they said that he would probably make the Arsenal game. So that's why, uh, that's why uh, I was questioning that. Okay, but uh, yeah, man, bro, it's no excuse. Even if they, even if they didn't have injuries, bro, it's no excuse. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> For me, it's just one of them. Okay, yes, Cunha is out, but that guy can't hit the barn door. You know what I'm saying? He he only scores he only scores screamers. Apart from that, he cannot score normal goals. You know what I'm saying? And um, so I, I, I'm not even thinking about their injuries. I'm thinking about my guys just doing the job. And uh, yeah, it's it's it it like I said, it shouldn't uh, be that it, it is it is an advantage for us, sure. But uh, I don't know, man. It shouldn't be that significant for our team to get over the line. You know what I'm saying? Mm. That's what I think. I, I will say on this, like honestly, whether uh, they have injuries or not, like doesn't matter. Even if they had like peak, like Podence and all these guys from a couple of years ago and Jota, like we shouldn't like that. That's the kind of game where if we don't end up winning, no disrespect to Wolves, but it would be more on Arsenal than Wolves. It would be because Arsenal didn't show up. If if we go there and show up and they go there and show up, we absolutely destroy them. Doesn't matter how good they play because we are that much better than them in every department. Plus, we also have our entire team available. Everyone mm-hmm. is available. There's not a single injury or any player suspended. So um, it's all going to be on us. And the reason why I'm saying we might not win is literally just because we've lost to Aston Villa. And I feel like our team still has that mentality issue. When we lose, it comes in like a batch. You lose like two, three games in a row. We don't like just lose one and get over it and come back. Um, I'm talking about the league, obviously, not just not like not Champions yeah. League and everything included. So that I don't know that Villa game for me might have had an effect um, on them. Um, last season, people were saying, "Oh, you know, we're going to play two games over City, um, and we could potentially open up an 11 points gap." We didn't do shit. We we literally drew to Southampton, drew to West Ham, uh, uh, drew to Liverpool, and then lost to City. All this in a row. So. Yeah. Um, I am worried, man. It all depends on how he obviously approaches the game. I think if we approach the game and press an attack from the very beginning and play with that high level of confidence, then we should be fine. Mm-hmm. And we shouldn't give them a breather coming into this game. Honestly. Do not give them a chance. Like Even, even if we are 2-0 up. Go, we said this, remember, in the Sheffield and Wednesday and, all, uh, and mm-hmm. West Ham and all yeah. these kind of games. Like You go 2-0 yeah. up, don't stop. We right now mm-hmm. have a good goal, a goal difference. If City draw... Any game, and let's say we win, even if we're level on points, we have the goal difference. Do not give that up because that could make a difference come end the season if, if it comes to it, right? So mm-hmm. we need to make sure if we're 2-0 up or 3-0 up, don't stop. Keep going. Screw it. If you have to break a new record on Wolves, just, just end up doing that because um, it's the only way to kind of appease like what happened the last two, three games. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because even if they draw, we, we go top if we win, you know what I'm saying? And yeah. uh, like you said, if, if we just need to keep this up and go to these kinds of teams, like even last year, we won 2 0, if I remember correctly. Uh, I'll, I'll, e- I'll, I'll even take a 2 0. You know what I'm saying? 2 0 two would be perfect for me. You know what I'm saying? So uh, uh, it's, it's just one of them that the, the clean sheet is the most important in this game, in my opinion. I think uh, with the amount of injuries, with the amount of absent players they have, uh, apart from He Chan, 
but you said that he can cannot play a whole game, so I don't expect him to start. You know what I'm saying? I think he will come off the bench if that's the case. Mm. Um, so we should be able to keep the clean sheet. You know what I'm saying? If and this is a big if, if Zinchenko doesn't play, you know what I'm saying? Is it gonna be one of them that Arteta thinks okay? We've had the Bayern game, now we play Zinchenko again. Or now we play Kivior again, you know what I'm saying? That he's good, just going to change the 11 and change the system a little bit. Um, for me, I think the system and the players that we used against uh, Bayern München is the way to go. Apart from Jorginho, I think Jorginho needs to hold bench for now. Mm. I think we need to see Party in the starting 11. I think we need to see Tomiyasu in the starting 11. And the front line... Saka, Martinelli, Havertz, do not change that. Just let, just let, just let this be how it is. Okay, that's the biggest question for me. Will Arteta change the eleven? I hope not. Like I said, because I think consistency is key. And uh, with Party be, being back and with Tomiyasu being our current left be uh, best left back, in my opinion, in uh, mm -hmm. Tim Timber's absence, um, let's just play them. Six games left. Let's go. You know what I'm saying? For me, for it, it's just time to. Uh, now it's crunch time. So if anyone is available, just play them. Even if, <coughs> pardon, <coughs> a player has <laughs> other issues than injuries. You know what I'm saying? Play them anyway, bro. I do not care. You know what I'm saying? So uh, yeah, mm. uh, that's that's the that that's the biggest uh, thing for me for this. Uh, Honestly, yeah. gee, this is the kind of game, yeah, where I don't give a shit. The lineup has to pick itself. It's so clear. I don't want any of this nonsense. Jorginho should not start ahead of Party. I don't give a shit if he has an amazing performance. Party should be starting from Italy end of the season. Tommy Asher should be starting left back. Um, I, I have agree a weird one. Actually. I'm gonna stump oh, you guys when I do my lineup. Let's hear it. I'm gonna stump. Oh, you okay. Guys. When you do the lineup, okay, fine. fine. Yeah, 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 I'm gonna stump you guys. That's I, don't know, I said because I, I said it because I said it because I said it. In on on Dan's channel, and it was it, it made me sick just saying it. But it, sometimes it just has to happen. Some players need a rest for me. So, oh, oh. I would bet soccer, bro. The hell with that, bro. I, I I'm the one who's getting. I think I think it's soccer. If I'm not wrong, I think so. Am I not, right? Not not just soccer. Okay, fair enough. But for me, like yeah, certain, yeah. certain number certain number forty one. I think needs, yeah. Oh. Needs to be. I, I, needs I, to be I, I knew I, you I, were I, gonna I, say that. Yeah. I, I, bro. You I know what? Since, that. since we're, since we're there, I, th I think we might just quickly talk about it. Mm -hmm. I think Declan Rice and Saka just need to be benched. Not, not in regards to poor performances or anything like that. I just think Dan Saka is poor performance. No, no, it's not. It's not, man. It's not. You need to stop this agenda, bro. But anyway, just, just, yeah, just to give, uh, so fine, just to give fine. context, it's fine, it's fine. just to give context to the chat as well. Our brother Ashraf, okay, has an agenda against our boy against Saka. Saka. I don't. One hundred percent. I don't. He has, I he has don't. an agenda against Bukayo Saka. And, and, I... and, and, and the weirdest thing is, yeah, the weirdest thing is, yeah, this guy gaslights Saka by trashing his, putting his name, <laughs> dragging his name through the mud, yeah. But then all of a sudden, he cleans oh, him up him and then he puts him in an all-time Arsenal eleven. How does yeah. it make sense? Nothing makes sense now. I mean, oh, I'm, 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 okay. I'm explaining this for the last time. If you bring it up in next videos, I'm just going to ignore it. As I said, first of all, that proves that I don't uh, dislike Saka because I literally put him in the overall lineup with the concept of I think he will get there by the time he, re he retires, right? Because I knew nobody gets in ahead of Salah anyway. So that's one. Hmm. Secondly, I think, you know, the issue with you guys are, you frauds. I think you guys, like the things I also spend a lot of time on Twitter, but I think you guys get so involved with other rival fans that it's now Foden versus Palmer versus Saka, Bowen, and West Ham fans shitting on Saka saying Bowen is better and all that stuff. You Like Arsenal fans get so involved in this, as I, I like to coin this term and say BDB, brain dead banner right? They get so involved in it that now we have to protect Saka and gloss over his bad performances just to make sure we don't lose arguments to rival fans. Forget rival fans. I don't fans. think it's, I don't think it's oh, bad. I'm not, I know you're not talking to me because I never do that, bro. <laughs> no, no, I don't fair think enough, but Saad definitely, maybe. No, no, but I don't think it's bad performances based off of him just being bad. 
I'm saying that the reason Sad. for these poor performances is because he's overplayed. Seasons. Yeah, but Sad, it's three consecutive seasons. So like, how, bro, brother, how many more, games has he been playing over these last three seasons? So don't make it game? seem like he's playing every single day. He's playing and he's adding. What is he doing in between the games? Is he going and like freaking working out 24-7? Like that makes no sense. If he cannot play, he should be telling the manager, I can't play. I'm injured or I'm tired or whatever oh, it is. He, apparently, Haaland, why not? Haaland and KDB, who are better players, apparently told Pep. Obviously, people might say that's a mistake. But they went and told Pep they need to come off. Yeah, so he, you're saying... Ars- first of all, you're bringing come up on, uh, ha- Haaland firstly... Um, that showed that showed that he's 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 shown a weakness there uh, to come off in a quarter final yeah in a quarter final you're coming off when your team needs you yeah uh, he's shown a weakness there and is KDB, it a weakness? And, and K, hold on hold on hold on let me land let me land and kdb right. kdb's got history of this bro kdb has history of this oh. every time bro and uh, certain finals bro you know what i mean he falls down injured what oh, finals bro. Yeah, right. really. So he didn't get right. his face smashed up by so, Rudiger. So anyway, so anyway, listen, it's all good, man. Don't worry. You're bringing me players that have history of this kind of stuff. But sad. The fact listen, is, it's been three consecutive seasons, and he does underperform in the business end. And you can argue. By the way, that corner he took has nothing to do with fatigue, right? That's just um. I'm telling. And by the way, it's not me shitting on him. Man. He's th- oh, come on. I'll say, I, I, I'll say, okay, hold on. I'll say. I'll say. I'll say the the Bayern Munich away performance was shit. Yeah, that was that was a bad performance. Uh, he was he amazing against Villa. He was shit against Villa as well. Yeah, he had one chance True. that Odegaard slipped him through. He shot it. It went out. Fair enough. It happens. After that, he was dead. He didn't mm-hmm. do anything against Dinia. He did nothing that entire game, bro. How about Bayern mm-hmm. at home? I told you, Bayern at home after the thirtieth minute, he was dead. Nah, first 30 nah. minutes, he was killing it. Yeah, he scored an amazing goal. 30 minutes, he was maybe combining. first half. Give him a break. I think her uh, first half. Oh, fine, Stinks. fine. I'll extend it to this the first guy. half. But uh, the reason I'm saying first 30 minutes is because when Alfonso Davis got the yellow card, he didn't do much after that at all. And that was in the I agree to something that. minute. That mm-hmm. I agree with. That I mm-hmm. agree so with. Did, yep. So how he did he have a good game? Okay, okay. Hold on, hold on. That oh. I agree with that he, he doesn't... Sometimes when, when players get booked, bro, he doesn't go yeah. for them, bro. Like, if yeah. your player gets booked, go for him constantly. I want the ball. Give me the ball. I'm going at this guy, bro. I'm getting past him. I wanted to tackle me. I wanted to get the second yellow. That's, I, I, I don't know why Saka doesn't do that, but... And I can I just add this one last thing? I saw a video of your last season's highlights of Saka and people coming and saying, oh, he's doubled up. He's this... Bro, go watch the highlights of last season. How many times he destroyed his fullbacks in difficult, tight situations as well. Who's this? He was a one... Saka, he was a one-on-one demon for fullbacks, bro. He was a he one-on-one was, demon. Even, even when he comes like two people on him, he would still play the he would sometimes play the through ball between them and make a run. He was incredibly he barely lost the ball. Go watch the highlights of last season mm-hmm. and you'll see how many but, times he was okay. in tough spots and got but you know, out. You know what that tells me, Ashraf? I think yeah, I'm sorry, Ashraf. I'm sorry, Sat, uh, that I cut no, you no, off. Go but ahead. Please go ahead, T, please. Y- you know what it is for me, Ashraf? That mm. just tells me. Or maybe it's just my, you know what I'm saying, uh, uh, thought about this. Um, I think maybe he's just carrying something, bro. The fact that this guy does not have someone that can challenge challenge him, him playing literally every game still, you know what I'm saying? I think Reese Nelson only had one start in the Premier League this season. You know what I'm saying? And he is normally the guy who starts over Saka at some games for the right wing. You know what I'm saying? And um, and yes, you can say, well, yeah, but Reese Nelson is shit. I agree, but uh, he is indirectly the guy who plays if Saka doesn't play. You know what I'm saying? That that so happens. I'll accept that. I'll accept that. T and Sad. I'll accept that as long as you guys are also saying he has been shit. But this is why he's been shit. What other fans are maybe not you guys, but what most Arsenal fans are doing are saying he hasn't been shit which is idiotic. If you want to say he's been shit and Arteta is the reason he's been shit because he's not been re- arresting him, he's not been playing Jesus there, he didn't get a competition for him in the summer, fair enough. I'll, 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 we can agree, with, we can like discuss that. But the fact that people are saying, no, but he hasn't even been bad, that is what blows my mind. <laughs> that, you, that, you, know what, the... you know what it is, Ashraf? I think his numbers mm-hmm. do him justice because he has, he has his best GA season. You know what I'm saying? 
in the last yeah, four, four, four or five years. So I think that's why people hold on to that and say Saka is becoming this mature player that even if he plays bad, he still gets numbers. You know what I'm saying? And the best example I can give if some, is someone like Salah. I'm not saying he's the same level as Salah, but yeah. he is that right winger right now that even if he plays bad, he still gets numbers. You know what I'm saying? And um, Saka is at this moment in time maturing in a way that, in the same way that even if he plays bad, he st still gets GA. But I still, I agree with you, Ashraf. I completely agree with you. That's the funny part, okay? You just, uh, you know what I'm saying? The way the the way you said drop him is not drop him in the way that you want to rest him. You just want to drop. You know what I'm saying? That that's no, I, uh, that's you. But um, I want him drop because he's been. Okay. By the way, you know yeah, what? Yeah, yeah. And, let's and let's I go agree. by that logic. I agree. But let's I just want to say logic. one thing. As, let me let yeah. me say one thing still. Okay. Last thing. Yeah. I completely agree with you. I think this, even though he has his best GA season, I think this is one of his worst seasons. Form wise Thank for you. Arsenal. I agree completely with you on that point. Okay. And I think that it's something to do with an injury or him just being outplayed. Because even Declan Rice, and that's why Saad mentioned Declan Rice, and that's why he wanted to rest him. Because in the last two, three games, even Declan Rice looked way worse than he normally is. And that's why, and because Declan Rice is also. Uh, played consistently. He never rested as well. But Saka does it for even longer. You know what I'm saying? And I think us not buying kudos, and I will, and I will keep mentioning this. Okay, us not mm. buying kudos for 35 million was the biggest mistake we could have done this season, bro. Because mm, Saka, yeah. that would be the perfect person for this club because he can play striker next to Saka, and he can also challenge. Yeah, we have one. We have one in here. We don't, bro. We have somebody here that can take that position. Jesus can play on the yeah. right wing, bro. We don't even need to search up. Connor just come out of nowhere, out of left field, just out of nowhere. Oh, man said, I man said, I got the link. No, you didn't. Wait, guys, but like, don't, don't. don't big up, are. Connor. Guys, don't hate me for saying this, but honestly, like, okay. some fans, some fans say this. He doesn't sometimes. Yeah, he gets GA. But how many times do you guys remember him performing in big away games when he's needed? Porto away, Bayern Munich away, Liverpool away this season, City away this season. So he has he last season Liverpool away, last season City away. He's had away games. That's why I'm saying it cannot be fatigue because he's had away games in the middle of the season, big ones, and he's not showed up. Like I'm telling you guys, I think there's a mentality thing as well. Declan Rice. By the way, we're saying Declan, Declan Rice is shit. That's only compared to his high-level self. I would argue Declan Rice over the last three, four games has had like the worst performance is probably six and a half, the worst. And the average is probably seven and a half, eight. So even Declan Rice, despite playing every single game for us this season and starting every single game, and despite starting for every single game for West Ham last season, he's still putting up the performances. And he probably runs so, more than Saka. So uh, this, is, this, is, this is what I, I think... Last season kind of messed him up because last season, I think the whole him him playing anyway. He was playing the season before last season. He played nearly every single game, and towards the latter end of the season, he, you know, he slowly petered out and 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 unfortunately got um, TJ's here now all of a sudden as well. <laughs> I love TJ's hand movements for like this guy's just, <laughs> just punching hella air, bro. Hella air, yes, yes. In face. But lads, we're talking about Saka right now. Um, mm, okay, we'll, 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 we'll do and this. put up, put up oh. Nick's X course comment. Huh? smart man, Nick. Smart oh, man, Nick. Oh my Thank god, you. thank you. Exactly, Saka's been he poor has for been. 70 percent of the season. So, this, no, but this, this is what I'm saying. Okay, so let me let me explain to you what I'm trying to say. Yeah, last season. Last season, he was playing at a level where taking on his man, he was a 1v1 demon, obviously, like you said. You know what I mean? He's taking on his left back, bro. And he was doing that consistently. He was burnt out towards the end of the season. He's taken that into this season straight away, bang. Let's, let's not forget that he was playing a World Cup in between that season last season, by the way. Let's not forget that. So... Mm. 
also in so, every single in every single international break he's taken with England he plays 90 minutes straight bang no breaks is given to him only this only this international break he got given a break only this one he got given what a about break. rice but uh listen rice is uh, rice is role is every game for England okay but rice's role is not as physically demanding as Saka's and I'll tell you for why I'll tell you. I'll tell okay. you for why. Go I'll ahead. tell you for why. I want to hear this. Yeah. Everything goes through Saka. Everything. Our whole play goes through Saka. So we need him to consistently go run up and down, up and down on that side because that left side is where most of the stuff happens. So he's up and down that side consistently. Sad. All game. I'll give you two facts, not opinions. Facts. Go ahead. Rice. Rice has way more touches than Saka in a match. Rice com runs covers more distance. Than Saka in a match. Rice makes more tackles, which are physical contact, in a game than Saka in a match. What are we saying? So Rice physically has to do a lot more than Saka every single Maybe match. Maybe physically and that's demanding because... was the wrong word. Maybe physically okay. demanding, but but I think I think that Saka just has to listen. Taking on his man all the time, yeah, it burns you out, bro. It burns you out. And and this season, I think he's feeling the the the, the brunt of that now. I genuinely think okay. that is. There's no, way, there's no way. There's no way. Listen, no, hold on, hold on. There's no way. All right. Like all, all the rivals want to sit there and clown. Ha ha ha. Uh, limps, limp, bro. There's no way that a player is limping off these games, bro. He's not doing it on purpose, bro. He's not. I know people want to say he's doing it on purpose. He's not. This guy's carrying okay, so, something, bro. Why would he be limping like that? Is he just taking the piss? Oh, let me just limp so I can cover my. Bro, that's not what he does. Bro, okay, so just to understand, that. you're acknowledging he's been shit, but you're saying the reason he's been shit is because he's been overplayed. But he has been shit. That isn't the reason he's I, been shit. I that think, isn't the I, reason he's been shit. I think the performances haven't been there. No, but Saad is shit. denying he's been shit it's... at all, like which is weird for me. No, no, Saad, no, no, because Saad, he's Saad, still you gotta, provided. You gotta, you gotta hold some of it, and I don't want to interrupt here, but I, I gotta, I, I, I don't know how long I can stay on, so that's why I'm gonna get in here and be really loud and and piss Saad off, which is there. You are. Go ahead, DJ. That's um, the plan. no, bro, but no, 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 no. You can't deny that Saka has been underperforming. Okay, he's our top GA, but who has he gotten those G that GA against? You gotta, you gotta keep these things in context. And again, you gotta talk. I gotta talk about your gaffer, um, uh, Saad, a little bit here. The the way that he has been playing Saka has been running him into the absolute ground, man. He's not putting Saka in a position to do what he does best, which is shoot and score. He is just he has been absolutely run into the ground. You can see, especially during Bayern the Bayern Munich game, you can see him running down running down the chalk with the ball. And then he gets doubled, sometimes triple teamed, pause, and he has no one to give it. He has no one to drop it off to. Adjust your tactics to saying, actually to actually put Saka in a position to score. Because as much as Saka, and I've been saying this over and over and over again, and I hope somebody hears me somewhere out there in the YouTube world, Saka has not been put in, has not been utilized by Arteta correctly. This is true, in my opinion. But Saka has also not been living up to his potential world-class monitor because to moniker, yeah. what do world-class players do? They create something out of nothing. And he has not been doing that lately. He has not been doing that. I think he's not. And, and, and I agree with Nick core. I agree with Nick core. Arsenal fans have been too reliant on Saka. You guys are expecting the world from this guy when he hasn't been doing it all season long. All season long, he hasn't been doing it. He's been scoring against opposition that has been beneath us, and outside of the outside of the Bayern game, he hasn't, bro. He really hasn't been doing. He really hasn't been doing much. Hold on a minute. We need this guy to be an impact player. Game in, game out. He hasn't been doing it. He needs someone to compete with him. It's as simple as that. We've he's gone this whole time playing at Arsenal. Maybe Pepe for a certain amount of time. No, no, because because I'm getting pissed. Connor, trust me, I'm getting pissed. Trust me, Connor. I'm getting pissed. Connor, hold on, hold on a minute. I've tried this. I tried this. I failed. Okay, I've tried the Pepe prop, but it didn't work. It's not even Pepe. He needs someone. It's not Pepe prop. Listen, Saka. Listen, I've actually heard rumor. Rumor heard, and it was true. I saw it. I saw it, and it's it's really true. The Simpsons are doing a spin-off show called The Limpsons, and I think Saka. Hey, brother. Hey, brother. Hey, brother. Hold on, hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Where's, the, where's the clip? Where's the clip, bro? Where's the clip? Where's the clip? Relax. Relax. That was relax, a good one. Relax. relax, relax. Yeah. We need one. to calm down. 
We need to calm down, yeah? Fools! Fools! Sure situation there. The kick at Broski, the end is my listen. Part. I'll be like, so real right, right now. I'll be so real, yeah. Bro, we, we, guys, we're, we're gonna need to we're gonna need to fight, but we're gonna need to come up to some solution here because there's no way we're slandering Saka like this, bro. I'm not taking it. LFC Aaron, I'm not LFC it, bro. Aaron. no, no, no. What's a LFC Aaron? I understand what you're saying, LFC Aaron. He's 22, I, and this is why. I, and Martin yesterday, or I can't remember who said, "Oh, why are you quoting ESPN?" Everyone, ESPN, literally had him as the best right winger in the world. They had him ahead of Salah. Our <laughs> own fan base. Listen to our ESPN. Own fan base, Okay, fine, fine. No. Let's see ESPN. <laughs> Let's see ESPN. Our own fan base had him as the best winger in the league after Saka, as one of the top five wingers. We were saying he's ahead of, he's, he's literally just behind Vinicius Jr. We cannot say age, and then don't put him that high then. Then let's say, hey, you know what? He's good. He's nowhere near Vinicius Jr. He's no. By the way, I promise you this is a real convo. I saw it on Footy Judge Most channel, I think a year ago, whenever it was, where they were saying, oh, Rod he's better than Rodrigo. Are you daft? That's Rodrigo crazy. does more on the right wing, which is not his wing, than Saka. So when Arsenal fans and the entire fan base are putting Saka on that level, stop saying age. Because Vinicius Jr. And, and Rodrigo were winning their team, the Champions League. They were winning the team along with Benzema in 2022. So do not say he's 22. In that case, do not put him in that pedestal. Do not say he's that good. Do not say he's world-class. Do, do not even say he's on the cusp of world-class then, by that logic. You know what? Listen, listen, I can't lie, man. I'm actually getting I'm actually getting mad because for me, Saka, yeah, this season, yes, he's been yes, he hasn't been performing on the pitch, yeah. Aesthetically pleasing, he hasn't right now. And that's because of him being overplayed. That's because of him being tired. That's because of him carrying whatever, whatever you want to say. Yeah. Something's wrong with this guy. Going to be limping like that. He's not been able to be aesthetically pleasing. But what I'm saying is, Why is he oh, on the pitch? no, no, that's that's the manager. The manager's be, bro. We no matter what we want to say, Arteta's naive as fuck. Let's let's just get it right. Oh, he is yeah. naive. Oh, as fuck. Dickhead, I agree. Swat, <laughs> no, no, but he's he's, he's, he's na he's naive. No, no, but he's naive. He's naive right now. Yeah, he is. Now he is. But so and this, I mean, the, the way so he's dealing with the situation. I didn't mean he but, needs competition with him, but he needs someone that because at the end of the day, Saka. I, I don't want like I don't want to become like a, a Carl a Joe Carl way. No, no, but it. but you just you, bro, you just you just you just pissed me off with that limp uh, the, the limps and the limps. Bro. Limps. <laughs> that was so good. I, I can't lie because I, I saw your tweet, on bro. And I download the video just on WhatsApp and put it on stream. Download it and put it on stream. Um, but listen, I, real I can't. Quick. I can't disrespect my my. Well, no, what I was trying to say was listen. This is what I meant, right? Listen, Saka's already before the season's even over. I think this is his best season in an Arsenal shirt, if I'm correct, in terms of all, in terms of every game. So I'm not writing him yeah. off. Saka's one of my favorite players at Arsenal easily. However, I feel like it's wrong with him, especially if he's going to play for England as well. With the amount of games he's playing, he needs to have someone like like so, someone just brought up Salah for a second there. They've got people to rotate Salah with, you know, Harvey Elliott if they want to play him there. They've got players to rotate exactly. with. And I like Reese Nelson, but I don't see Reese Nelson impacting us. I see us think of Elise. That's the mm -hmm. perfect player. If Saka's not fully fit, which I don't think majority of the time he really is, I don't think we've had a, we've had an 100 percent fit Saka in a while. We so haven't. it would be nice to have someone like an Elise. Where Saka isn't fully there, Mikel can be like, Do you know what? Yeah, we can use someone like Elise to get on the pitch. You know, something like that, or even I'd love a Kubo from Real Sociedad, someone like that, you know, just like a but player. Bro, we have we have Jesus though. Oh, yeah, come Jesus. on. Oh, Jesus. No, 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 no. no, 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 no. Oh, Je Jesus, oh, Jesus is done. Jesus yeah. is done, bro. Jesus, Jesus oh, is just as injury prone as this guy, Saad. You're, 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 please don't do this. Okay. Please don't do this, Saad. But on the wing, I don't think he will be having to do as much as when he's on the middle. I don't, I just, Saka's I don't getting so. destroyed on the, is getting destroyed on the wing, literally limping off every game. And I don't think it's a, I don't think it's a fake. I, I think, I think, I think, to, 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 to be fair, different to to Jesus. no, 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 come on, Ash, Ash, to, Ash. to be fair, Saad, the only good Wait, game. Why not? Why not? Why yeah, not? Hey, the guy's 16, it... bro. Yeah, hey, the guy's 16. Who gives a life? shit? Bro, oh, what about you know, you know, you know, City, City, the best team in the world. City, the best team in the world. When they had David Silva and all, introduced Foden. Yes, Foden is a crazy talent. This season, they've introduced Oscar Bob. 
They've started Oscar Bob Broski. in the Premier League. <laughs> these if he's guys, really that these talented, guys... play him. Broski, he's 16, bro. He's 16. Oh, your mom's 16. He's doing bits at the moment in Barcelona. Come on, Saad. That's not an excuse, bro. Would you take your, would you take your mom um, behind Saka? Uh, bro, would you have him as a rotation? Fuck your mom. You, you, guy, you know what, what it is, Saad? You yeah, wait, exactly. Wait, wait, thank you. Listen, yeah. God I mean, your man is 16, 17, starting every Saka game. God forbid transfers, God forbid, because Saad's going to be pissed, bro. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> honestly, bro. Saad will quit. Saad's going to quit. Look, no, no, yeah, just, Saad, just Saad, after that, yeah. Like, God forbid. Uh, my this this bottle was full, and I just smacked it on the floor, and now it's all over the place, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I'm all fucking vexed, bro. But well, Saad, just, Saad, well, to, to say no, one thing about this uh, Noagieri uh, comment, yeah? My own fan base was yeah, What's happened to Noagieri? Man's disappeared. Yeah, yeah. Just, just, just to say one thing about that, yeah? I think, Saad, what, you, what you're doing is what our club is doing wrong for the last 15, 10, 15 years. We are too nice, okay? Fuck being nice, bro. If you have <laughs> things, use it. Just like what I said about right, party... Right. Just play party, bro. You know what I'm saying? I do not care what issues you have. I will play you. You know what I'm saying? The the Chicago Bulls, one of the best teams ever seen in the NBA, had Dennis Rodman in their team, bro. You know what I'm saying? Let's not let's not act like uh, when when a player has issues like Aubameyang, for example. That guy likes cars. He's like that flashy guy. You know what I'm saying? So it doesn't fit the PR model that Arsenal goes for. That's why Rodman Arsenal... didn't have charges against him. Just to be fair, just to just to. Yeah, yeah, just... yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, 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 DJ, bro. Hey, 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 guys, 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 guys. I'm, I'm just, right? just bro. Hold on, no, hold on, hold on, hold on, guys. Are we trying to get my? Um, are we trying to get my channel? No, no, no. Or? That's why I didn't mention it. Allegedly, allegedly. Can I just say allegedly? You can't, you can't, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't mention allegedly. That. Allegedly. 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 Yeah. In game. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Yellow cards. Yellow cards and red cards, bro. In it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, man. That's what I'm saying. We are too nice, bro. We are too nice with so many things. That's why Al Nani is here. That's why Cedric is earning 25k a week. You know Fact. what I'm saying? And that's why uh, Barcelona, even if they have injuries, I don't care. They've introduced Yamal to the team and he is performing. Bro, his market value, I saw it uh, last uh, on, on the internet. It increased with like 130 mil, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. His yeah. market value wow. is around four, 100, 145 right now. And this guy is going to high school, bro. You and know see, what I'm saying? That's what I mean. I've said this before, bro. Arteta does not give youngsters chances. He gave no. He gave one. Nan, I can't say one year a chance, so he could break a flipping record for youngest yeah. player in the Premier League. That's exactly mm -hmm. why Michael Arteta had done that because he's a fucker, and that's why he's done that. One year he's doing hits for the under twenty. Oh, but he's a youngster. He's a kid. How's he going to make it into Arsenal's team? How about give him a try? If Pep can do it, if if um and listen, Liverpool were on their last Barcelona are doing oh, it. But Connor Bradley's come in. Yo, people are actually saying we need Connor Bradley to be a main starter. And he's he's 18 years old, you know. Put Trent in the midfield and Bradley at right back. I don't blame him. Bradley's class. Give these youngsters a chance, man. Don't just in addition to that, Connor. Uh, and, and and by the way, people got triggered when I tweeted this once. Like I, I said, Arteta doesn't hasn't introduced any youngster from our nope. academy to the team. No, nope. right, none, zero. Nope. And I have no issue with that if we end up winning things because. He let him do whatever he thinks is right. But in the end, if we don't win things, you can criticize that. But people are saying, oh, no, but he's developed this, developed this guy, developed this guy. Yeah, but he didn't introduce the players. He came and found Saka already a starter. He came and found Martinelli already starting some games with Emery. So it's not like he introduced these Saliba youngsters in. As How well. do you think Saliba? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. He got into this team. He got introduced into the team. Like, I was toxic Tash. That's bollocks. It's, it's not career mode. Give the youngsters a chance. How do you think youngsters make their way into a, into a main team? They've got to be given a chance into the team. Can I, can not I, five I, minutes off the bench or starting an irrelevant game in the EFL Cup for one match a season, so you can't even say how they're progressing. Oh, and then, and, oh, and then I mean. oh yeah, and, and then you send them on loan to Swansea City immediately after that too. Yeah, you guys yeah, remember I mean. Stago Junior? Okay, this guy. Yeah. He, this is a major criticism that I have of this manager. To where other other managers like Klopp and Pep. People that uh, managers that we consider elite will routinely play their youth youth team because they have a system that the manager trusts those youth players with. They yeah. are implementing that at the youth level. I do not trust that this manager is doing the same thing at the youth level that he is trying to do in the first team. We are. 
We are. No, we are it's, not. We are not. I'll tell you why we are. I'll tell you why we are. Why? Let me, yeah. let me okay. You, let me get you a clip. There is a clip. There is a clip. Yeah. Of the youngsters playing the exact same play that Martin Erdegaard, Declan Rice, and and Saka, and Smith Rowe have all done. Okay. Yeah? So why have I not seen the exact Jerry, same Jerry, play? So why did they be playing? Why, right why, why did they not seeing... and back into the middle? Because yeah, he, you can't just bring in hella youngsters like that, bro. You yes, can't. Can. No one is seeing hella right youngsters. Bro, you're it's at the not, top no level. No one is saying hello, youngsters. I understand. I understand. I understand that Nwanyeri right. needs to get more time. Yeah, I fully okay. understand that, and that's a criticism. I've criticized this manager because he doesn't. He doesn't bring in uh, uh, the youngsters in, and like Royal Waters have been has been training with the first team for a minute. Yeah, like, since yep. last season, and still ha we haven't seen him play a game, bro. Yeah, mm -hmm. no, sir, now, you're confusing it. No, but that's yeah, but... not what we're saying. We're not saying we're not saying he should introduce the youngsters just to give them a chance and help them grow. We're saying we have issues in our team sometimes where if we cannot find solutions outside because we cannot go and buy players anytime we want, sometimes the solutions are available internally, but he never looks at them internally. So but when it, we keep it, saying that it's the academy, academy ash, they're not ready, ash. Yeah, you're not good ready. Enough. But we have if your system is that's good that's enough. You should be developing these players on on top of putting the system into their game, like. That that is what these other elite you managers do. TJ, to interrupt you. Where do all right. these world class players come from? They start the academies, as youngsters and exactly. they make them like, why why are Barcelona introducing so many youngsters into their team? What's going on? Because they have yeah. no money. Oh. They have no money, broski. No, they have done that every time. But sad, that's not true. They've been doing that for They're the last. Still, they still years. compete though and they've... get Champions League every season. Come on, they've, they've had, like, just to give an Cuenca example, and all these people starting in the Champions League with Xavi and Iniesta. That's not true at all, bro. They've done yeah. that for. They have had Teo. Teo was starting for them in Champions League games when they had like peak Messi and Pedro and V and all these guys. They've been doing that for a long, long time, even when they were at the top of the world. And this mm -hmm. season, they have Frankie De Jong and Gundogan and Pedri and all these guys, and they still play Fermin Lopez, right? Got, they have Rafinha on the right. centre back. They've got like some nineteen. Kubarsi, Kubarsi, yeah. yeah, exactly. Even though they have Christensen and Christensen has been doing okay sometimes, and they have other Arujo and Kunde, they still introduce these youngsters because that's been their philosophy. That's right. just how they've been running all this while. Look at Chelsea as well. Look at the amount of talent Chelsea produced by putting Yorks in the team. Do you know what I mean? So like, listen, it is. Mm -hmm. what it, is but it almost just, feels like. Uh, it almost feels saying. like. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. I was just saying, no, no, I don't think anyone here is saying just whack them into the first team. But when you're at a point where you're like, oh, like I saw people, and this, and I guarantee these would be people that right now be saying, oh, but don't introduce kids because they're not ready. People were gnawing off. Is it Lino Santos that we that we sent off to Aston Villa because we had no left back at a time? And they're like, oh, play Santos, play Santos, like play Real Waters. All right, but then what are you saying now? Oh no, we don't want them near the team now. They're, they're youngsters, bro. Give no, them no, a chance. At this... not bar Saka. I can't actually remember the last time we've introduced a player into a team that's become a main staple at Arsenal. No, Real no, yes. the question is Correct. the question Jack is, uh, Connor, right. when when was when did Arteta introduce a youngster yeah. the last never. time into never. this team? Never. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah, it, yeah. It, no, never, bro. Right. And 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 the biggest and the biggest thing for me is I think we are lacking this severely. Okay, we are lacking so much fuck it mentality, bro. You know what I'm saying? We do not. Have fuck it mentality. We only want to follow the rule book. You know what I'm saying? We follow the rules. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and, and 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 I do not like that, bro. Sometimes you just need to innovate and create. You know what I'm saying? And just say fuck it and do stuff. You know what I'm saying? And if you can see someone like Duanieri actually performing and looking like a young prospect for the mm -hmm. future, why not have that fuck it mentality and playing sometimes, bro? You know Especially saying? when Yo, we Yamal, have a gap in our team. Yamal, that Yamal didn't come out of thin air, bro. Yamal didn't who's wasn't that, spawned and wasn't let me. Who's the who's the young striker we've got in the under Edwards? Bro, he's easily at levels above that forward number 14 we've already got. Guys, oh, God. And we're, we're at the top goals, level, goals. bro. We're at the top level. He can are at the man. top level. Oh, City are at the top level. Oh my god, bro. <laughs> Do you, you know, you know, let me, let, me, let me just say this. Okay, 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 so this last no, last hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> no, 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 because you might not piss. This is about you. This is about you. This is about you. Well, Assad, this is about you. T, you can back me up on this. You can back me up on this, T. I think we were watching the PSV game. Sad himself, before the PSV game, when we did the match preview, we were both saying we want to see Real Walters play, we want to see Sagoy Jr. play, we want to see all these youngsters, and we need five or That's the game. That's wait. Wait, 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 wait. A, I, I, I'm coming to my point. League, I'm coming man. to my point. I'm coming to my point, Sad. I'm coming to my point. 
And when we didn't play them, because one second, Saad, because we said it's a dead rubber game. There's nothing to lose from here. Let's play these guys, introduce them. Maybe you would like some of them and play them. And the moment the lineups came out and we saw the other guys, and all these senior players, and we didn't see the youngsters, Saad and I both agreed. I don't remember if you were there, T, so maybe you can back me up if you were there. Saad and I both agreed that was a mistake by the manager and he should have played those youngsters. So yes. We are, what, so what we're doing is we're criticizing mm-hmm. the manager for I, I, failing I to do the exact same thing. No, no. Exactly. But, okay, okay. So, so this is what I'm going to say, yeah? Firstly, we're at the top level. Yeah, we are in title races. We are in the Champions League. Mm. A dead rubber game like that is the perfect opportunity to play the kids, and he didn't. I fair enough. I criticized him for that. Yeah, but when you man are saying to me, "Why are you not bringing on Manieri in in a title race game, bro?" Like, bro, you're not gonna do it. And and when when you guys say, "Oh, what about City? What about City? Well, City have Kevin De Bruyne, world class player, Rodri." World class player, Diaz. World class player. They have they world have class. The then. They have they have world class players in their team. Okay, they have Rodri. They have Haaland. They have this. They have that. They have, we have world Rice. class players in their team. These are not world class players. They're not world class. I do agree. I do agree. I do agree with Stadio. I mean, I agree with Stadio. Point. They have built the best. Bro, game against. Listen, this is just this is just a suggestion, right? Our last league game against against Aston Villa, right? Our bench, right? The only ones I keep on there are Tommy Asu, Martin Lee, Smith Rowe, Jorginho, and part maybe Partey. Players like Inketia, Vieira, Nelson. Nelson. Who else have I got a name? There's, there's a couple others, but this is what I mean. That's three players just to start with, right? All those those three players, right? And I, listen, I talk about Nelson, I rate him because he puts 110% in, but he's been there for long enough. Three players like that in Vieira, Inketia, Nelson. Do you not believe that some youngsters in the academy, who've been there for ages, and people scream about them, these fucking top gooners at the next coming of, of something, don't they deserve a shout in the squad to at least get some form of minutes? Because what the fuck does Nketiah do in this Arsenal team? Zilch. And what Connor, not just, team? not just in the title Zilch. race. Brother, because Saad, Saad is saying, oh, why would we introduce him in the title race? When I picked Oscar Bob as an example, City didn't introduce him now. They played him in the middle of the season. And he played well and then he earned a credit again. I'm not saying introduce him right now in the next game against Wolves. I'm saying we had so many opportunities in the middle of the season when Saka was performing bad and we could have had someone play on the right for him just to rest him up. We had like, remember we had the right back situation when Ben White was injured, Tom Yas was injured. We're like, oh, who are we going to play there and stuff like that. We were literally scraping through and Ben White was having bad performances too. We could have introduced Royal Walters, right? For one game. Yes, let's say at but, home against Sheffield, for example. Brother, do we have do we uh, that one game? We're in a title race here with City and fucking Liverpool, bro. There's no there's no place to slip up. We lost we lost two games, and we West still slipped Ham up. And Fulham, West Ham and Fulham. Yes, okay, we slipped up. Yeah, but that's just due to the players just dropping their heads. But all I'm and that's saying, that's why you introduce all I'm stars. saying, all I'm yeah, what if if. Please, Ashraf, Allah. That's a, <laughs> so Stop. I'm not saying start. No, no, no. If my if and Gomez was available. No, no, no. Fuck, like fuck, him. fuck Connor Bradley, bro. That's that's something that's that's something that's just a, uh, uh, bro. <laughs> that doesn't happen. That doesn't that happen doesn't every happen. time. Bro, oh, it happens a lot. Player, other players player available. Comes in, to go in a right player back, comes. No, no. But a player comes in. A player comes in like Connor Bradley, yeah, and for them to hit the ground running like that, that's very rare. Can I throw in a name? Very Kobe rare. Kobe Mainu. Kobe Mainu. Look at yes, that. Yes, these are rare. These are rare things rare. that come through, rare. bro. Okay, rare. so so hold on a minute. So Chelsea. How do you know? Played, how do you know what they can do Chelsea, if you never give them a chance? Played, Chelsea have played. Thank Gil, you, T. Gil, Thank you, Gilchrist TJ. or whatever Gilchrist, whatever yeah. his name is. Yeah, he's not been tearing it apart. He's not been going crazy. So I because you that normally doesn't happen. I fully yeah, understand I that you guys want to play it, play players, bro. But you have to choose the right moments. Games where we, if, if we're leading and there's a player on the bench and he doesn't bring him on, that's where I'll criticize him. But for him to start players, youngsters in, in Premier League games, bro, that's crazy. That's nuts. No, no, it's not. It's not crazy. It's not nuts against certain Premier League teams. You're not telling me you're you're, you're telling me. That somebody in our in our, a kid in our under 21s couldn't go out there and cook Burnley or cook Sheffield United 
or do a job against them with with players around them. Like you were saying earlier, you were making a point that there are world class players that that United or not, excuse me, City youngsters City. can develop around. How how come we can't do that here when we have players that are plenty enough experienced to help these kids grow? Because at the end of the day, we e we're either going to develop these kids, realize they aren't good enough, and then sell them. Or develop these kids and then make them into make them into first first team players. But we don't do that because we don't give them a shot. If Kobe Mainu was in the Arsenal squad, he would not have seen enough pitch to make an impact. Whereas United no. is in a completely so why did, different. Why did Kobe Main? Why did Kobe Mainu come in then? They were shit, and they needed someone. Because they're shit, and, they're, and they were, they were they were forced into it. They were forced into it. They weren't majority. They were majority. Majority, majority, majority of the time, it. they could majority he could time, continue to play. No, McTominay. they bought him in. They bought him in because he needed a DM, bro. He needed a DM. I think Casemiro. He's not a DM. Was, he's a center mid. Okay, he's center mid. They, need, they needed a center mid because he kept Why? playing McTominay there. McTominay is not the guy. And we kept playing the certain guy, players there and they were flopping, right? It's the same logic. Exactly. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Said. Yeah. Oh, hold on. You just hold you, on. Exactly what you just so said. Saka, so, Saka, so Saka playing at right wing. Yeah. Saka playing at right wing. Who do you lot suggest we go and get put at right wing? And if you say Ethan Ranieri, I'm going to get it. He did back. it. It's not right. He did it. He brought him, he brought him off the bench. He brought him off the bench this season and played him right wing. What do you mean? It's not like he's not done it before. That's why I asked, is he a lefty? Because when he played that game, he was he cutting plays, in his left he all the time. Centrally he, in, uh, for the, for the, but he brought him in right wing. He, he played centrally. He played played his centrally. first game for Manchester United, right, this season. In the preseason. He had, no, in this season, against Everton, it was 3-0. They had Amrabat, Van de, and they had Van, de, they had Van de Beek and Amrabat on the bench. Two players that can play in that position. But he still yeah. went ahead and chose the academy kid. And that academy kid, and I swear to God, and where are United in the league, that kid... 18 year old has just gone England call up after a couple months. All and listen, I don't want to make my point because I don't know what the other guys are thinking, but my point is when we're low and we're struggling, I hate seeing players like Eddie and Ketia and Nelson who have been here for years. I agree, they, they, were, they were in the academy and they've been here for years and they haven't improved. It's as simple as that. Yeah. Bring in some new talent, fuck the old one. Sorry, I shouldn't be swearing on your channel. So put the old ones off. No, fuck it. it's away. all gone to shit now, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Send them There's away. You don't need now, them anymore. Bro. You've had your opportunities. You've been there for a number of years. Now, time to go. And let's give some new talent a, ch a chance to shine and come off the bench when we need it. I'm not so saying drop Saka for Wanieri. No. I made the point earlier about Saka needs someone behind him because I don't think Saka... Saka hasn't been fully fit for a long time. Saka's still my main right wing, 100%. 100%. But do I think he can go 100% for a season on his own? No. He needs that player behind him who could come in and, and have a have And a you go. said... And you said, Sad, hold on, that... Ash, hold, uh, on. Hold, your horse, hold your horses, Ash. Hold your horses. Hold on. Hold on a minute. I wanted to... Re I wanted to agree with ah, my yeah, brother. Yeah. Rebuttal with my brother, Connor. Okay. So, so I agree with what you're saying. Yeah? And Ketia, Reese Nelson... Um, Vieira has been here for less, but I don't like him anyway. No, no. Leave Vieira alone, bro. Let's not let's speak about... Can we put in Smith? There you are. Still time. Still time. There you um, are. But, listen... <laughs> bro, lie. Um, this guy, bro. <laughs> Listen, Reese Nelson, listen, the stocks are there, bro. They're in the, they're in the safe. But Reese Nelson and 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 Ketia, they need to go ASAP. Like, I'm talking tomorrow, bro. If I could, if I could, if we get any bids, bro, I'm driving them wherever they need to go. Chauffeur service. Uh, serious, bro. Yeah, if it's abroad, I'll pay for their flight. I'll drive, I'll fly them there myself, bro. I'll get a pilot's license and do it myself. But these players, these two players really need to go, yeah? And I do agree with you, we need to bring in players in their position, yeah? But we also are in the time where, firstly, firstly, we need to fully improve our starting eleven by bringing in... We're missing a big part of our starting eleven right now. We're missing an X-Factor player. We are missing Alexis Sanchez, 2016. Aubameyang. Fuck Aubameyang. Alexis Sanchez, that's who we're fucking missing. That is who I we're missing. Have some respect. Alexis bro. He won you your last trophy. Bro. Alexis, yeah, yeah, that's true. Uh, we, we, don't do respect. Respect. we don't do respect. We don't do respect. We don't do respect. I'm, 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 I, I can't lie. Alexis Sanchez is my guy, bro. When I think of, uh, when I think of X Factor, that's the first player that comes into my head because Alexis Sanchez didn't give a fuck. 
He did not give two flying fucks, bro. He said, if this game, didn't this way, he turned up late for bro, training. Didn't... Exactly, exactly. Aubameyang as well. Yeah, mm-hmm. exactly. But, but 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 Alexis Sanchez, hold on, hold on, T. Why yeah, you, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, yeah go, ahead, go ahead, bro. Go ahead, go ahead. I feel like I feel like T has the cannon ready. He's just waiting. <laughs> No, no, but no, no, no. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna this ask a thing, fair yeah? question. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Hold on. So, for me, Alexis Sanchez is the guy, and I'll tell you why Alexis Sanchez is the guy. Because if we're in a game, yeah, and it's a stalemate, bro, we we we've we've gone stale, bro. We have nothing, yeah. We're trying to create chances, yeah. You have Alexis Sanchez who picks up the ball, he'll take it, do a few skills, and he'll shoot it top bins, bro. He'll get you a goal. If you need a goal in a game, he'll get you a goal, bro. He'll do that for you. And the fact is, the team just wasn't good enough at the time. We weren't consistent enough at the time. So he could only save us so much. Before before we, before we, before he's like, bro, I've, I've done all I can. Bro, I need some help. And Ozil was there as well, helping him as well. And, and, and you know, giving him assists and stuff like that. But, bro, we need that player right there. And like Alexis Sanchez, that mold of player, that X-factor player, that player that goes out and says, if we have that against Bayern, we're still in the fucking Champions League right now. And we're coming up against Bayern, uh, Real Madrid. That's what... That's, Saka that's, isn't, that's, Saka that's, isn't that player. That's the fact. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Saka maybe isn't that player. So we need to go and get it. We need to go and get that player. We need to get somebody who can go. And th- this is why I think... You're right now bringing in youngsters should be the least of our issues because the main issue is bringing in a world class player. We need to bring in world class players that are proven, that have mm-hmm. been there, done that. We need to get some players that are a bit older, and we need to do stuff like that, bro. Because it needs to happen, bro. It needs to happen. Uh, if we don't bring in world class players, what we're just gonna have youngsters, we're gonna have maybes every single time we go into transfer window. Mm-hmm. Possibles and this, oh, maybe he might be a, a superstar in about two point five years, bro. I don't you, need to. Listen, you got to agree. Yeah. You do. But, you, you must but, want to see some Arsenal talent start to come through soon. Come no, on, a hundred percent. I listen. I want to see talent. I've been screaming Royal Waters' name for 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 two years, bro. For two years, I wanted to see this fucker play, and he doesn't played. Mm. Okay, so you're you got to blame your manager. You got to blame your manager for I, that. I agree yeah. that there weren't there weren't enough youngsters that were put out by Mikel Arteta. I agree. I agree that he hasn't put out enough youngsters. But I also can understand the reason why this season youngsters haven't been played that much. You're coming up against Liverpool, who who were who were going on a mad one. Klopp just told him he's fucking off at the end of the season. So they, these players, as soon as he done that, these players got a boost and they were like, no, 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 we're fucking doing it for Klopp. We're doing it for Klopp. We're doing it for Klopp. And they were going game after game after game after game. Poor performances. Fuck it. The teammates scoring. <laughs> Fuck it. We're still going to score a last minute goal and we're going to win the game for Klopp. It doesn't matter. We're doing it for Klopp. Now it's now maybe it's run out and they've run out of steam. Man City, maybe. Man City, we already know. We already know what Man City is about. Yeah. These guys have shit seasons at the start and they still manage to come up out of nowhere. And I'm still here. Hi. I'm still only three points behind you. I've been shit for the whole season, for the, for the first half of the season. But it's all good. Still right behind you, Broski. <laughs> I might not have as many points, but you've been as, as inconsistent as me. So mm-hmm. this is this is there you are, you fraud. <laughs> so this is, this is the thing for me. Like when you're coming up against these kind of teams, and both managers are arguably the best managers in the world, in Jurgen Klopp and Pep, at this moment in time. So yeah. if you're coming up against them, why am I going to bring in young talent? Yeah, and play them and start them in 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 a, in a game when I'm when I'm trying to go for the title. Can I ask you a We're question? Can I ask you a question? Title, Can I ask you a question, real real quick? Are yes. Liverpool and Man City the only teams in the league that we play against? No, exactly my point, Sod. Yeah. There are other teams in this league that we can put these players in the lineup against. We played Eddie and Kedia for the first, what, six, seven games of the season when he wasn't doing de- doing shit unless it was against teams like Sheffield United or teams like Burnley or teams like freaking Mo- Nottingham, Nottingham Forest. Forest. Like the, these are the these are the teams that I'm talking about. And you can't tell me your boy Roy Walters couldn't have marched into that game and done a job. Is that what you're telling me? Listen, all I'm saying, all I'm saying is that um, when it comes to, when it comes to, <laughs> hold that <aside. laughs> God. Um, all, all I'm saying is that when it comes to um, Royal Waters playing, 
I wouldn't. I can't start players. I can't. I can't start players, bro. Not in not in these games. Even if it's against the Burnley, even if it's against Sheffield, what if one of those players makes a mistake? What if they make a mistake? Our players, our players are perfectly goal. capable of making mistakes as well. Yeah, yeah. But when they make a mistake this season, a defensive mistake, how many times has it happened this season? Have we not been the best team in the league in regards to con conceding goals? We have conceded the least amount of goals. Have we not been the best team defensively? So if no, I'm we 100% have, we we have been, but you're not answering my question. Up... I'm talking about Rural Walters. I'm talking about our attackers. Our attackers who have la who, who arguably, at the, especially at the beginning of the season, lacked and are lacking now. So, so, exactly. So, was, you're, you're making it seem that, that we're saying... That was, that was, but can I ask that my question now? Oh, sorry, go ahead, go ahead, I've been waiting to ask my no TK, oh, no. no TK, oh, not not a, never, never again. Oh, I'm okay, I'm sorry. I'm just joking. But, uh, <laughs> I'm just talking like I'm, I'm moving like I'm my, uh, this is my channel. Go, buddy. Go, yeah. go. Go like, ahead, put TK. me in a waffle cell, bro. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, my question to you guys then, yeah, Saad, you might as well change the background to uh, Gunnar Lounge because this is Gunnar Lounge. This is not match preview. That's bro, all I'm saying. No, no, no. Because you're gonna, you're gonna you're gonna ask this last question. Wait, is that your yes. question, D? No, 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 no. That's just oh, a statement. Bro, I'm I'm gonna, still gonna ask my question. Yeah, I gotta go. My, I gotta wait, go. Connor, I gotta Connor, go Connor, Connor, before you guys bounce, Sad, I want to say this is the realest panel we've had. Big up to Hooks and Martin, but these guys, these frauds, are just deluded. I think we need to have this panel a lot more so we can give <laughs> Arsenal fans a dose of reality, right? Yeah, so they yeah. actually know what's happening yeah, with yeah. the club. Roski, 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 my blood pressure right now. But so big up, big up, Martin. Getting, we're, never getting, we're never getting this panel together unless unless I take like blood pressure tablets um, <laughs> and, and sort myself out. <laughs> last words, last words, Bro, listen, 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 all I want to say, all I want to say. I say what I think I'm suspended six months, so I cannot say. I see, man. Um, <laughs> anyway. Six months, bro. If I say one, Listen, I just want to say my last words. Big up to everyone. Thanks. It's been really good. Uh, quickly hopped on. Uh, by the way, I've gone for a free-one Arsenal. I think we're going to win it. They've got no attackers. They've got Sarabia, and that's it. Everyone else is injured. Line up. Um, and I, I want the same <laughs> team he played against Bayern, but up front, I want Sago Junior, uh, Edwards, and Wanieri. Sago Junior is on loan at free uh, on loan at freaking Swan. And he left. And he joker, left off. He said what a joker, bro. <laughs> what an <laughs> asshole, <laughs> dude. All right, I gotta go. I gotta go too. I gotta go too. I'm going for a. I'm going for a, uh, a three one as well. Um, same. I mean, same lineup. Come on, we the, more than more than enough to beat these guys. Let's get it. Let's get some confidence back, and so we can go ahead and beat Chelsea at home and win these last six games. But big up everybody, big up, uh, big up TK, big up Ash, big up freaking Saad. Thanks for having me on. I, I need to have, I need to be on um a lot longer. So let's plan something out, Saad. Bro, listen, Guna Lounge, man, we're gonna. That's gonna be massive, bro. I need all to right, find all right, all right, all anyway. right. Absolutely, big up, big up, guys. Big I'll up, see you bro. Later. Big up, bro. T T, what's your beef with uh, Hassan? I, I didn't know this beef existed. Well, I, you you yeah, know what bro. it is with this guy, bro. He doesn't believe that I am Dutch. You know what I'm saying? It's uh, it's crazy, bro. <laughs> you oh, saying he I'm is, forcing, is You saying I'm forcing the accent? Well, lie, bro. If I didn't have no, this no, accent, no. I could f uh, talk fluent English. I would, bro. Trust me, bro. T, but, no, uh, you know, you know him. Him saying <laughs> that you don't sound Dutch is like me saying he doesn't sound Arab. That's exactly <laughs> what it's like. Yeah. But, he, he's, he, but no, no, no. He, he's not saying I'm, I don't sound Dutch. He's saying I'm forcing the accent. But uh, yeah. he, he's, he's, he's joking around anyway. But he's a fraud. It's he's fine. a fraud. I, I, I think, I think your accent, or lie. I, I think your accent has a bit of touch of both, like Dutch and Turkish, because I know a lot of Turkish people here, and they have a slightly similar accent to yours. But I think your accent is a lot, like I don't know, cleaner maybe or something. So it could be yeah. the Dutch in you. Who knows? Yeah, anyway, bro, it's, it's it's a mix of everything. But let me ask my question, bro. Okay, this oh, let, now the question score, comes. I didn't ask okay, it yet. Yeah. Now we're in a safe space. You know, everyone is gone. You know what I'm saying? My question to you guys is because we were talking about Olise, we were talking about Isak. You know what I'm saying? These are not world class players. And if we want to uh, do what you said, Saad, who do you think is a good candidate to come to us? as a world-class player that we need for this side. And the reason why I'm asking this is, Aubameyang at the time, Dortmund, world-class player. Um, Alexis Sanchez, Barcelona, world-class player. You know what I'm saying? Ozil. Ozil, Mr. Ozil. 
world class player Real Madrid, you know what I'm saying? And you had Robin van Persie, also world class player, you know what I'm saying? Which player, apart from Isaac and Olise, because these guys are not world class, these are these guys are still projects, these guys are still young, you know what I'm saying? Even injury though Isaac, prone. injury prone as well, but I'm not even I'm not even looking at that factor, Ashraf. I'm just looking at the fact mm -hmm. that I'm looking at Saad's point about us needing world class players. Where do uh, which world class player are you talking about? Uh, because so I would love a world class player, but who are we going to, out the there to buy? In the midfield, midfield, Kimmich or Barella? That's in the midfield. Yeah. In attack, Rodrigo. Barella's so overrated. Uh, bro, sh uh, bro, I beg you, this guy, I swear to God, Ash is pissing me off today, bro. The amount of stinky <laughs> I'm things being he honest. Had, bro, it actually reeks, bro. It actually reeks. This guy says I have stinky right. takes. How many games have you watched Barella play this season, Sad? This season in the I've Serie A? I've watched games because I've been dunking on Mo. I've been trying to dunk on him. So I've had to watch Inter Milan games. He's not games. world class, though. I, I've, actually, I've actually watched... Anyways... I've actually watched probably like 10, 10 games, 10, 15 games. Possibly. And he's been world-class in those 10 games. No, no, but he's still, bro, he's, listen, he's, he's a world-class player, bro. Okay, so question, Frankie De Jong or Barella, if you had to pick one of the two? Yeah, f bro, for me, it's easy, bro. It's Frankie all day, bro. Super so... easy, bro. But no, but let me see what he says. Look at this. He's <laughs> Because <laughs> oh, uh, sure. the thing is, Ash knows that I love Frankie De Jong. That's why he's doing this now. Yeah, no, oh, it's not that because Frankie is clearly the better. So player. I'm, I'm gonna say Frankie De Jong, but I still think that that uh, Barella is world class. But I, 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 it doesn't matter. We move anyway. Okay, yeah, yeah. Kimmich, 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 I agree, bro. Kimmich, Kimmich or Frankie De Jong, yeah, in the midfield, in the right wing, Rodrigo. Go for Rodrigo, get his ass. Ooh, amazing. So, get so him. what do you do with get Saka then? Rodrigo. Brother, they can. Do you want to bench bro. Rodrigo? Yeah, Saka, Saka can, Saka can, uh, Rodrigo can play in the middle role. He can play on the left. That's his actual position. Left. left he wing. can play in the left. He can play in the so middle. You bench Martinelli. Whatever, yeah, I'll bench Martinelli. He's been yeah, shit. Listen, this season he hasn't been. Because hasn't I been think. Left. We need a what? world class player at the eight, and we need a world class player at the striker. That's what I think. Okay, so let's let's think of world class strikers right now that are in the in the um in the world. Yes. Uh, just off the top of my head, I can say that we can we can get a uh, La Toro Martinez. No. Do you guys think Aww. he's good enough? No, 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 no. He's he's a slightly higher version than Jesus. That's it, bro. Wow. He's a good passer. Come on, bro. Like we've like, this, this is me. This high, is me. Bro. This is me. This is me who doesn't rate Lato but, Martinez. But do do it, you think he's world class? Everybody seems. Everybody seems to sit here and say, "Oh my god, oh my god, he's so good." Look at Lato Martinez. Look at no, He's not. Martinez. He's okay. So, so, he's, so he's, he's not world class so, though. So, so this is this is not the question. Class. This is the question that I have to ask, yeah, for you all in the chat and all. The, where the fuck have you fuckers been, bro? When I was sitting there saying he isn't world class and I'm getting slated, where the fuck has everybody else been? Because nobody was here. With you? Saying, brother, everybody disagrees with me. On Twitter, I was fighting people. Into oh, Milan fans. Son, Into Milan fans about remember this. the term BDB. It's brain dead banner. I've seen these Inter Milan fans come and hype up their man, and they'll 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 talk about, oh, don't look at the World Cup. It doesn't really matter. Uh, uh, look International at duty is dog shit. But... Bro, Lukaku went to that league and was like had like twenty plus goals. Like, and we've seen we know who Lukaku is, bro. So I, I'm not discrediting the Serie A. Okay, I'm not trying. I don't discredit any of the top five leagues. I'm not one of these people who does like top. Five, oh, this league is a farmer's league. That's bullshit. But I just think people overhype him a little bit. The only world class players, I think Toxic Dash mentioned it. Kane, Lewandowski, Haaland. Yeah, I would whatever. put Osman in that. I would put Osman in that category, even though the season he's been subpar. But just because of the quality I've seen him have before. Um, Tommy Abraham. Victor oh, oh, in the Serie A, he's joking. Yeah, exactly. I would put these four in that kind of category of... I think Isaac can get Victor there. Oshman. Yeah, I think Osman can definitely get there. He's 24, right? Or 23, 24? 24, so he definitely yeah. Can, okay, uh, yeah, so can we, he can, can definitely we, get there. Isaac or Osman? Be, hold on, hold on, hold on. Can we, can we be serious for a second, yeah? What is the chances of us getting Kylian Mbappe? Let's stop it. 
Stop it, bro. One guy asked him. <laughs> one guy asked him, and he said, "No, no, it's so cold there." He still want to break the heart of the little kid. He started laughing the moment the kid said, "Can you please come to Oslo?" He started laughing on the kid's face, bro. Like imagine the guy went ah! like that, and the kid was like, "What the?" F-? Like imagine, bro. He he laughed at a kid's face because he suggested Oslo. There's there's zero. When was that? No, when was that? When was that? Like like a couple of weeks ago. No, it was a couple of weeks ago. Have... It was. Wallah, it was. I saw the video on Twitter. What do you mean? Yeah, it was like, it was like, nah, the weather is bad. Something like that. He said that. the weather is too cold there and all that. Yeah, crap. yeah, yeah. But, but bro, he, this guy, this guy is just, this guy is handmade in a laboratory for Real Madrid, bro. It's just written in the stars that this guy goes to Real Madrid. You know what I'm saying? They, they, they miss that exact position striker. And do you really think he will come to us over Real Madrid, bro? I'm just gonna be real, man. You know what I'm saying? But but maybe but maybe that's me. No, he won't. He won't join us. He's definitely definitely joining Madrid. You know what the funny thing is about Sa- uh, Southern T about uh, the Mbappe situation, right? It's it's. I want to see this season. Who needs whom the most? Because if Mbappe wins the Champions League and Madrid get him. It'll be. It'll look like Madrid need Mbappe because he just won the Champions League. He's gonna get them there. But if Madrid win the Champions League, then 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 Mbappe is the one in the desperate position because like, oh, should I need Madrid to get there? So uh, I really, I'm curious to see what happens in this season's Champions League. But he's joining Madrid, man. It's it's a done deal. And by the way, okay, even if he doesn't join, fine. even if he doesn't join Madrid, I don't think Arsenal will be second or third in his list. Okay, that's that's fine. That's fine. So Victor Oshimeno is uh, Victor Oshimen or who was that one that you guys said? Isak striker, yeah. Isak is good, but just injury Isak. prone. But he's amazing. I love Isak. Listen, I I think I think I think right now we need to go and get somebody that has X factor that can score goals. Even Victor Osimhen, I'm not even completely convinced, bro. Nah, he's got convinced. the X factor, bro. Like he's yeah, big, but I, I think he can hold the watching ball. him watching him for Nigeria, which I did watch him um, during that African Cup of Nations, bro. So Sad, many how many strikers out there mm-hmm. have that X factor? If you want an X factor, you have to get a winger. You have to get a winger then, because wingers give you the X factor a lot more. Oh, let's let's get uh, let's get a Rodrigo and stick him on the left. Yeah, I wish, but will he join us? I don't know. One hundred percent, he'll join us. We pay the money, we get the money. We we pay the money to Real Madrid. You know, we... it, no, 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 no. It, I don't mean that. Us. I mean, would he leave Madrid? Why would he leave Madrid? That's what yeah. I'm he, he's literally in the perfect scenario. You know what I'm saying? They, yeah. If they if they add Mbappe into that team, it's chalas. You know what I'm saying? Done. It's it, it's it's finished. Bellingham, Bellingham, well, Mbappe, well, Rodrigo, well, Vinicius Junior. That's the here's front one four. thing. Here's one thing. We can either get Rodrigo or Vinicius Junior. And shall I tell you why? We can get one of them. When Mbappe comes in, there's no way in hell that Mbappe is playing that striker. There's no way in hell that he's playing that striker. Why not? Because Why Mbappe not? is not a striker. Mbappe is a left winger. Well, so who's going to play a striker then? So somebody is going to have a striker. Somebody is going to no, have to no. play striker. Yeah, but then they'll just rotate, Assad. This is exactly what they did with Neymar, Mbappe and Messi. They were just rotating. Sometimes Neymar gets in the middle. Sometimes Mbappe. They're going to rotate, but they're not going to get Mbappe and go get a striker as well, bro. There's no way. They're going. Their front three will be Mbappe, Rodrigo, and Vinny Jr. Whoever plays where, however way they rotate, that's different. Yeah. Th- thank you, Justin. Now that you send a super chat, we will acknowledge. Yes, win the dog. Okay, great. Big up, big oh, up, oh. win the dog. Big up, win the dog. Um, doesn't miss a stream. Doesn't miss a stream. Wolf Wolf is crazy, bro. Wolf Wolf is crazy. Um, all all I'm gonna say, all I'm gonna say, yeah, is just quickly before we move on, um, Yokores, bro, that guy, I think he's all right, bro. I haven't watched him enough. I can't. He's good, but not world class. You're 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 you know what I'm saying? I, I I'm not I'm not trying to be this picky guy, but to, 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 oh, but, you said you said world class. Yeah, but yeah, but yeah, you you said world class, bro, and I agree. But because at this point we have the how should I say? Well, why don't we buy a world class player? And the buy the him? squad is ready now. That if you add one or two world class players, mm. this the squad is ready for everything. You know what I'm saying? At this point, apart from us selling dead wood and replacing bench players, blah blah blah. If we add to this team, because we have enough quality, do not get this wrong, okay? 
if we buy this world class number eight and a world class striker, bro, to this team, to this team, and maybe a new manager as well, then yeah, we can win everything. Yeah, <laughs> I like how T stuck that in there. <laughs> no. No. I mean, you're gonna fight today, bro. I mean, you're gonna fight. Today. I, I, I'll say this, yeah. I don't think we need to get a world class striker if we get a world class eight. And we get a quality winger to compete no, with our wingers. Because... Striker, please, we need a world class striker. No, 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 no. I'm saying we get a striker, but he doesn't like. For example, if we get an Isak who's not world class, I think that 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 works because then you have like your second options of Jesus or Havertz. But we still need a winger, in my opinion, because I, I need a winger who's like Doku. I want someone who will be like, give me the damn ball. Let me roast these two, three uh, defenders who are coming at me. I need someone who will because you said it yourself, right? You want an X factor. Where when the chips are down and it's a dumb, dead game like Aston Villa and we have our system is broken because we're a system team, right? So when the system is broken and we're not able to break the other team, I need someone to take responsibility. Say because Odegaard does I that. Isaac problem... do that. Isaac done that. Yeah, yeah. It's Isaac, but again, as a striker, if they're locked up, you need someone with crazy dribbling skills. And as good as Isaac is in dribbling, he's not a Doku in dribbling. He's not a Liao in dribbling. So I've seen mm -hmm. Odegaard do that the last couple of games where he takes the ball, he tries to make things happen. But the problem with Odegaard is as incredible as he is, and I think he's going to be world-class eventually in the next few years. But I think from the position he plays, he cannot break that deadlock. He cannot create that kind of magic Alexis Sanchez does. You know, when you, you cut in and you take a shot. For example... Martinelli did that against Bayern. Do you guys remember when he cut in and took a curler and it was such a shit curler, right? Like, imagine if we have a world-class winger who did that same cut and curled it properly in, right? So that's what I'm saying. We need a winger who can do that, which is why I'm looking at if we can get someone like Rodrigo or some top-class winger. And then striker, you don't need to get world-class. You can just get Isak, who's, by the way, who's not world-class, but he's amazing. He's going to cost 120 mil, though. 100, okay, 120. They can shove that up their ass. Yeah, they're asking for 120 <laughs> mil. Then, then I'll I'll go and get some striker from the South American, from Argentina or Brazil, who's 21, 22, and he'll probably come and kill a, kill it here like Julian Alvarez did. That, but that's stupid. I, I have a question million, for you know? specifically. Then I have a question for you specifically. Then yeah, Hit we me, had then. we had a conversation a long, long time ago in a Twitter space about Rafa Leao. Fuck off. Yes. Fuck off. What do you that? think? What do you think? about that situation right now i've about... changed my mind i've changed my mind i i yeah. last I, I i shamelessly for those who don't know what's going on in the space i shamelessly defended martinelli over is over Liao because i was looking at martinelli's last season he was incredible last season he was roasting defenders scoring different types of goals and all that stuff i changed my mind now i was wrong i'll put my hands up Liao is definitely better than martinelli um he's definitely a game changer that martinelli cannot be um, and while I still think that there are certain things that are wrong in this game, like he's lazy, because our team, look at our wingers, they have to track back, they have to sprint, they have to cover the defenders. Doesn't Leo do doesn't do that, he doesn't do it, so I'll still criticize that aspect of him, but on the ball, he is better than any of our wingers, Saka and Martinelli, and he can do things on his own, so... I will put my hands up and say I was definitely wrong to say Martinelli is mm -hmm. better than Leo. Because he um, has the world-class potential. You know what I'm saying? He has that potential, yeah. yeah. Okay, people have yeah. people have world class potential. Well, like people have world class potential. It's there, bro. Uh, you know, we need to go for somebody who's world class now. I can't lie. Um, there is how there isn't anyone sad that who's world class now and would join Arsenal because the world class players that are there are either playing in Madrid or Barcelona or Man City. They probably will not leave these clubs, right? The only world-class players that you could look at, okay, this person is definitely going to be available in the summer is someone like Mbappe. But, I mean, again, he's not he's not going to join us, I feel. What other world-class player is rumored to leave? Uh, Kimmich, I think, is world-class. Okay, fair enough. We can there's get a, there's a, there's a, there's a player There's a player that we should have gotten from Real Madrid when he left. But instead, we did, they let him go and rot, to, rot in Saudi, bro, for some weird reason. Uh, Benzema. 100%. You'll kill it here. Mm. You'll kill it. Yeah, uh, 30 million a week. You know what I'm saying? 50 yeah, billion a year. It's not going to be 30 million a week, bro. He's get If he leaves to come back to Europe, he's going to know he has to he has to lower his wage. But yeah, anyway... But, uh, uh, so, so you're saying get him... You're saying get him for... Go ahead. Listen, let me just do this uh, this little uh, comment, and then we're gonna move on to the to the lineups and that because I'm because I'm I'm starting to get tired, bro. I can't lie, man. My eyes are about, I'm about to pass <laughs> out, bro. So I can't yeah. even lie. 
Um, Shaq says, Salam Saad, um, we should get Pedro Neto. Rodrigo is not realistic. Okay, so Rodrigo is not realistic. Pedro Neto, I can't lie, I've made a switch. I don't want this guy nowhere near my club, bro. He's too injury prone, bro. He's too injury prone. Too but it for is realistic. Example, We've for done example, it before. What do you mean? We've bought Ozil. We've bought Aubameyang. We've bought Alexis Sanchez. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's it's, it's not like we cannot Edu, buy these players Edu, from this club with bro. Edu with Edu with Edu under uh, in the ranks, bro. This guy couldn't yeah. even. That this, is true. This guy, this yes. guy couldn't even this guy couldn't even even manage to to secure a good a good price. Uh, Wait, for, what? For... No, I was saying the opposite. I was saying because we have Edu, we have a chance of getting Rodrigo if he's open to leaving. That's the opposite because Edu has done well with Brazilian connections. Whenever we're linked yeah. with Brazilian players, guys, whenever we are linked with Brazilian players, he's done a good job at getting them. Now, if you didn't like his choices, that's different. I'm just saying Gimaraish, Bruno G. But what is that there? was that on Edu? Where do we go from Edu here? Or was that at Where do we go on the from price? here? Where do wait, we go wait, from wait. here? When was the last I'll time he brought that. in a I'll Brazilian connection to this to, to this team? Apart from Marquinhos, who brought who did he brought in? Marquinhos hyping, he's paying extra. Like, here, have Jesus. five million. What about Jesus? And Gabriel Magalai, she was involved in both, no? There you go. And plus, with Hold Bruno on. G... No, no, no. Bruno, no. <laughs> listen, with Bruno, listen, listen. We're talking about world-class talent, bro. Guimaraes was 25 million young player from Lille. That's different than a world-class Rodrigo, yeah. bro. You know what I'm saying? It's different. No, no, but but uh, because I, the Brazilian I'm connection just... works with these players, yes. But why? How? But, but Rodrigo is different, gravy, bro. You know what I'm saying? So, um, T. What I'm trying to say, I don't think Rodrigo will ever leave. But I'm saying, if he does leave, having someone like Edu who played for Brazil, who's not like an unknown man in Brazil, actually might help with getting him to. Uh, let's say if Rodrigo is looking at three different teams. He's looking at Arsenal. He's looking at I don't know United. He's looking at, for example, Liverpool. Having Edu talk to Rodrigo versus Michael Edwards of Liverpool or uh, I don't know who it's going to be, Dan Ashford of United, for example, that gives us the edge because I think he can tell him, hey, hey look, we fine. already have he, we have three, four Brazilians already. We're going to look after you. You're going to be a starter. Like That def definitely makes a huge difference when you're conversating with someone in that same language from the same country versus if, let's say, Michael Edwards or Dan Ashford are going up against... Wait, wasn't against Michael Ashford? Edwards the guy in Liverpool, right, that brought in yes. Coutinho? Yep, and he bought in uh, Van Dijk. Yeah, but that's because Nick only... That. Bobby, yeah, Bobby yeah, Firmino, what... Bobby Firmino we as well, speak, another we Brazilian. A, fucking, a word of Portuguese, bro. Probably didn't speak a word of, of, of Dutch. Uh, didn't speak nothing, bro. Guys, when there's a difference. In. I said if we are competing with different teams, not a lot of people were chasing Coutinho. Coutinho was a failed a flop at Inter Milan. Right, he wasn't. He was. I, I thought he was doing okay, but a lot of Inter Milan fans wanted him out. That's not true. You know what? So when he got Coutinho, not a lot of clubs were chasing. Okay. If Rodrigo's on the market, seven, eight clubs are going to be out there for him. So we need every edge we can get. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Listen, listen. This this uh, conversation has gone on for too long. Um, Ash, give me your uh, starting eleven, Broski, and I'll go your... quick. Raya, Ben White, Saliba, Gabriel, Tommy Asu, uh, Partey. Uh, uh, Odegaard, Rice, uh, and in front three, um, Martinelli, uh, Havertz. Now, I'll start Saka because I know he's gonna start, so there's no point of me seeing someone else. But I would like to see Jesus, um, on the right side, like how he did against City, but it's not gonna happen anyway, so screw it. So, Saka, Havertz, and Martinelli up top. Copium or actual? Because I don't want to give my actual prediction and you'll say, why are you predicting actual. this? Actual. No, no, no. Actual. You want the actual score prediction. Uh, uh, actual for me is 2-2. Two, two. Really? Yeah. Do you think they can score two with the amount of injuries they have? Ash is skunked, yeah, I mean, bro. Ash is done, bro. Okay, fair enough. I'll say 1-1 one, one, then. I'll say 1-1. One, one. Uh, the reason I'm saying that... <laughs> is because... <laughs> I'll say 1-1. Allah, one, one. Ash, you are elite, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I swear you are elite. The, the reason I'm saying so we're like we're like bro, this guy is tapped here yeah? because he's yeah. saying what a two two yeah. And I said oh, okay, one one. The reason I'm saying that it's honestly has nothing to do with wolves. I think wolves are absolute trash. They have not won. 
I think they haven't won any game in the last five and they've only won one match in the last seven. Um, the reason I'm saying it is only, only and only because of Arsenal. I just feel, despite the tweets that everyone is putting up, oh, look at the team laughing and smiling, I still feel we will go into that game maybe slightly nervous. By the way, I think what City don't play the next two games, right? So if we win this game, we go top of the league um, and we get that psychological edge and I feel that Villa defeat might still rub on us uh, this game, unfortunately. Okay. Um, T? Yes, I will do my lineup really slowly, okay? Yes, okay, perfect. Okay, no, no, no. I have literally the exact same lineup as uh, <laughs> Ashraf, but the score is really? different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, I will play Saka. You said you played Saka, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I would play a, a party in the midfield as well and Tomiyasu left back. So, yeah, that's exactly what I want as well. Um, and my score prediction is... This is not a superstition, I promise, but I, I really think it will be 3-1 this time. <laughs> oh, yeah, I, you I, keep saying that. Yeah, yeah I, I actually think it will be 3-1 this time. But I won't be surprised if we end up winning 2-1 as well. You know what I'm saying? I think it. I'll Fair take them. Um, listen, I'm gonna go with um, uh, I'm gonna go with my lineup, which is um, Raya, Benny Blanco, Gabriel Saliba, and uh, Tommy Asu. I'm going with um, Party, Jorginho, and um, Odegaard in my midfield. Oh, you're dropping. You're actually dropping rice. Wow. Yeah, I think he needs rest. I think he needs rest. The last two games. Mm-hmm. I can see, I can see him. He, bro, it's just at times he's just chasing the ball, bro. And when your DM is chasing the ball, it's not good. The question: Who plays as the eight for you then, Georgino or Party? Party. Hmm. I think it works, bro. I think Party in that eight position is dangerous, bro. Dang. But why not? But why not play your guy? Yeah, please, yeah, please. I have some shame. Um, <laughs> who, did, who, who, who did he say? I said, why, why not, not play Vieira in midfield? Fabio Vieira. Well, right, this guy have some shame. Bro. Eh? Stop it, bro. We we need we need him we need him against Tuesday, bro. Against Chelsea. Fabio Vieira. Yuck. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll play him there. <laughs> this guy is not serious. Bro. Um. Uh, yeah, listen. Uh, I'm uh, my front line is going to be um, Jesus, um, Jesus, Havertz, and uh, Martinelli on the left. And I am going to go with um, a score prediction of 2 1 to Arsenal. You guys know why Saad is a fraud. I was waiting for this. I was waiting for this. Saad is a fraud because he predicted we'll draw against Wolves before. So what changed your mind now? Because uh, because I this is a all, all or nothing, bro. Is it it's all, all or nothing? Hold on. This game, this game right now, we lose this game, we capitulate for the rest of the season, in my opinion. We win this mm-hmm. game, we win this game, it gives us the boost to go on the rest of the season. Hopefully. That's that's Hopefully that's the game. Win. That's the kind of game it is right now. In my Inshallah, bro. Uh, Inshallah. Inshallah. I'll just say this, Saad, like, I, I wouldn't mind that lineup because I think I think you're right. Partey can do a job in an eight. But 100%. you realize Arteta, Arteta will never, ever play Georgino and Partey together because he just looks at Partey as a DM. Bro, Whereas he I looks hate, at Rice as someone who can play as an eight. I hate I hate the fact that he doesn't want to play Partey and Jorginho because I think that midfield actually work. Imagine two players you can break the lines, bro. Playing with each other, bro. Jorginho on the right, he can break the I lines. Hear it. Or or you could play party on the right as the eight, as the right right sided eight. You know yeah. what throws me off with that midfield shot? Who's gonna run back, bro? They both have no legs. Who? No, no, party tracks. Party no, tracks no, no, no. Like... Because because the last two times party played, he, when he ran back, he looked so slow, bro. You don't worry, party will be doing that, bro. Party will be doing that. I'm mm. telling you, it's just it's just because when 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 he came on, he was playing with rice, yeah. So Rice is mm-hmm. doing all the work, bro. Rice is picking up all of the all of the attacks. Rice is doing all the dog work. He's going around and doing all the defensive bits, the small bits here. So party doesn't really need to, because Rice is like, don't worry, 
I got this shit, bruv. You just do, you just focus on getting the ball up there. Yeah, let me do my thing. So mm -hmm. you're never gonna see that. When when party's playing by himself with Jorginho, who can't do that stuff, that's when you're gonna see the real rice. Uh that's when you're gonna see the real party. Party's gonna come alive, he's gonna be running around everywhere, he's gonna be doing that stuff that, that Rice does. He's also gonna be lacing balls across to, to to Saka and Martinelli. And bro, you're gonna see it completely different, man. You're gonna see it completely different. Okay, but, bro. Yeah, hopefully like, start, hopefully like start said, was up. Bro, like it. Like he said, bro. Uh, like I said, bro. That he will never play that midfield. But yeah, you know, yeah. I'm I'm hoping and dreaming that one day we can see that midfield because I think that midfield will work perfect as well, man. I, uh, Jorginho and and Party together, bro, is m something nice, bro. I'm trying to see man. something nice, bro. They could both they could both break their lines, bro. That mm -hmm. I need behind Odegaard as well. Ooh. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Something different, man. But anyway, listen, guys. Smash the like button. Um, subscribe to the channel. Um, yeah, right there, bro. Right there. Yeah, I um, think it's right sure oh, yeah, there you go. Yeah. Uh, make sure to get that done for me, people. Um, I'm not triggered, bro. I'm not triggered. I said never seen Saad so triggered on a stream. Bro, I, I can't <laughs> I know, I know why. I know why he's saying that. It's because when you you know when you do this, like 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 that, and you go back and you just do this, like it looks like <laughs> you have to stop. <laughs> nah, I'm not. I'm not, bro. I'm not. No, no, I, was, not I was. I was. I was. I was. I was getting. I was getting triggered yesterday on 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 Alahwa because I let the I let the 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 cooking get to me, bro. Bro, bro I you, saw you, that. you I let swear that you fraud could have get that. away from the Liverpool cooking, bro. How, how did you guys not cook him, bro? Not just that, wallah, not just that. Even the stuff Safi was saying to you and Z, especially Ziad, bro. I wish I was there, bro. That guy just waffles, and every argument he makes is super flawed. Right, just next time, just cook them back, bro. Don't let because I know the thing is, oh, we lost, we have to take the cooking. Yeah, screw it, bro. Like, if 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 they were waffling out of their thing, halas, bro. Uh, oh, god, I, I saw All that, lie. it just annoyed me as well. It just All annoyed lie. me as well. All lie. But the thing is, they all start screaming, and then we it, nobody can hear what anything, and then it just gets messy, bro. And then Hamza yeah. goes on for 40 minutes. Oh, oh Hamza thing, bro. Yeah. I'm just starts bringing wallahi, up wallahi. Arteta used to play with Philippe Koku, you know, Rangers, you know, wallahi, he never knew to play. You asked in Alphad, you never, wallahi. I was like, hey. and I forward, sometimes I skip it like 10 minutes, and I literally do You're skip, the, skip, 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 10 minutes, and you know, and you know, you told me that I'm Liverpool, and I was like, oh my God. Still talking, oh bro. God. Honestly. Anyway, listen, uh, people, love for the love. Um, Make sure to subscribe if you're new. Big up to Dan Potts um, again for the uh, for the raid. Um, big up to him, of course. Um, and yeah, listen, I appreciate you all. Um, thank you very much, and we'll see you on the next one, people. Peace out. Peace.